for more than a week, the NRM leaders have been deliberating on issues that affect Ugandans at the National Leadership Institute Chankwanzi under the theme deepening adherical consciousness for better service delivery. Corruption was key on the agenda, even after resolution reaffirming the NRM commitment to zero tolerance to corruption. The caucus agreed to hold a move by some lawmakers to censure Minister Saida Bumba and Kidu Makubuya. It is important that they go through the process of investigation and that whoever is accused should be given a fair and just hearing and we should let the reports be tabled through the normal process in the House. The youth MP for Eastern Region, Peter Guang, who was leading a group of MPs collecting signatures against the two ministers, seemed to have changed his mind after the caucus asked him to abide by the party collective responsibility to wait for the PAC report. His Excellency, the President was also in the same meeting. That's why we were saying that as a team, as a caucus, we have agreed that we wait for the PAC report what? to come out, of which all of us know that the President is among those who gave evidence in the PAC. The NRM retweet in Chankwanzi also agreed to urge Bank of Uganda to revisit the matter of interest rates, especially on salary loans. In his presentation, the governor did mention to us that they're doing everything within their means to make sure that inflation goes down. We have a duty to bring down inflation because inflation erodes the earnings of everybody. If somebody had a contract of five years, the salary has not changed. Why should you now increase the interest rate? Currently, most of the commercial banks are charging exorbitant interest rates of more than 30%. On power tariffs, the NRM lawmakers resolved to turn the subsidy on power for the construction of new hydropower projects like Aruma. We are assured by the Minister of Energy that very soon we shall be getting cheaper electricity from Bujagali. <laughs> Meantime... Government has since 2005 spent 1.5 trillion Uganda shillings on subsidizing Ugandans on power tariffs. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.